welcome back okay so as you can see i'm not in my usual setting i'm actually on the road for a little while but i still wanted to bring you guys a cute little makeup look <laughs> so i am here in the hotel room about to film it's hot as i don't know what in here but i'm not gonna turn the air on because it's too loud and i'm working with my travel makeup so i don't have the luxury of having all of my favorite products at my fingertips but we still gonna do a look today okay and i only grabbed a couple of palettes to work with while i was on the road one of which is my morphe james charles palette and the reason why i decided to bring this palette of course is because it's a very versatile palette there's several colors in here and there's also some nice warm tones and things like that so that's why i brought this palette Ooh, i might have to turn the air on y'all because i'm sweating already but and i also brought my ColourPop palette you guys know the palettes that i created from the ColourPop singles i also brought both of these and a couple of other palettes but for the look I want to do today, I wanted to go ahead and do a cute little St. Patty's Day look for you guys because I don't know if I'll be able to do one when I get back home. So we're going to do a green eye look today while I'm on the road. So I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows. I do have my LA Girl Shady Slam Eyebrow Pencil and this is in the color Blackest Brown. So I'm going to use this to put some eyebrows on and then I'm going to go ahead and prep my lids. And I'm gonna prep my lids with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Today I don't have my MAC paint pot, <laughs> so I'm using LA Girl today and then I will come back and we can go ahead and jump into this eye look. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. This is as good as my eyebrows and my eyelids gonna get, okay? So, I'm gonna start off with a nice soft transition shade. So, I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna take this shade here, this nice light tan shade, and use that as my um, brow bone highlight and my transition shade. I think it's probably gonna be about the same color as my skin tone, actually. So, I'll probably end up using a shimmer highlight at the end for my brow bone yep this is like perfect skin tone shade for me which is good that's a nice transition color okay so now that we have that down let's go ahead and jump into some color I'm going to go ahead and do my bold crease color. So of course I'm going to be using this dark, well, it doesn't look that dark on the camera, but it's a nice, perfect green shade. And I'm going to use that in my crease area. And these shadows do have uh, a nice amount of kick up in this hand. I don't know if it's just certain colors, cause I don't remember all of the shadows having a lot of kick up, but the pigmentation is very nice. And yes, I'm doing a bold cut crease today. <laughs> Everybody's all excited about that new green ColourPop eyeshadow palette that just came out. Honestly, I don't know if I'm getting it, you guys, because green is not a color that I wear often at all. And I'm pretty sure I have all those colors already. So I don't know if that's one that's going to be added to my collection. Okay, so let's go ahead and with this super bright green here. Hopefully I don't regret this. <laughs> But I'm going to use that to kind of smoke out or blend out the dark green just a little bit. And I'm using just 
a little because I don't want this look to be too crazy. Even though it's green, I don't want it to be too crazy because um, I need to go to the grocery store. <laughs> So that's not too bad. I like how that blended out the edge just a little bit and it's not as bright as you think it's gonna be. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease for this look. Okay, you guys, I don't know what happened. My cut crease, it got out of hand. It just went higher and higher and, and crazier and crazier, so, but we gonna work with it, okay? <laughs> we gonna work with what we got. Now, I actually wanna go into my ColourPop eyeshadows because there is this gorgeous gold shade here that I have, which I believe is 24 karat gold, and I wanna use that on the inner portion of my cut crease. And I wanna try it without spraying my brush first. I'm just kind of stamping it on. That's pretty. guys can see that it's very very pretty and I'm not even wetting my brush okay and back to the James Charles palette I want to go into this gorgeous shimmery green color right here and place that next to that gold on my lid and I'm gonna try this one dry first too but I don't think I'm going to like it so but I do want to just see. Yeah, I'm going to spray my brush. The color's not as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I'm not that impressed with it. I don't know. Well, you guys, since I'm so unimpressed by that green shimmer, I'm gonna add a little more gold just to kinda give this lid a little more pizzazz, but I didn't want this to turn into a gold, a super gold look since it is for St. Patty's Day. But, yeah, that green is just not, not making me happy. Okay, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take this dark, forest green matte shadow from my ColourPop singles and I'm going to go ahead and place that on the outer corners of my lid. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a wipe and just clean up some of this excess green from under my eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. I love this stuff, you guys. It is nice and black and it dries down matte. I was running out, so hopefully I have enough to wing out this eye look. <laughs> Okay guys, so now that my lucky eyeliner is done, I'm going to go ahead, finish my complexion off camera, and I will come back so we can finish these lucky St. Patty's Day green and gold eyes, okay? Okay. Okay you guys, so I went ahead, finished up my complexion so we can come back and do these eyes. For my face, just in case you're curious, I am using my Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I'm really loving this stuff, so I brought it with me 
for powder, well for concealer, of course I have my Makeup Revolution Defining Conceal. For powder, I did go in with my Milani powder and this one is in Earth Glow. I really like this stuff. I kind of like to use it to just kind of set all over my face. Kind of gives me like a bronzy look. So I did use that. For highlighter, I went in with my Becca and this is the Champagne Pop. A little mini that I got in one of my subscription boxes like a long time ago, but it's perfect for travel. So I did go in with that. And for blush, I went in with one of my Coastal Scents blushes. This is just a palette that I created a long time ago. And I went in with this really dark, I went in with this really dark kind of burgundy slash red shade on my cheeks. Just lightly though, not too much. So let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. I'm gonna go back in to my James Charles palette and I'm going to go ahead and take this green that I put in my crease area and I'm going to smoke that out on my lower lash line. really bright lime green and use a little bit of that underneath that dark green. Now I really want a bright pop in my inner corner so I think I'm going to go ahead and try this super light shimmer shade and hope that gives me the pop that I'm looking for. pretty bright pop <laughs> yeah okay so since I have such a bright pop in my inner corner now I definitely need to add some black eyeliner to my lower lash line okay so now I'm going to use this mega volume mascara and this is from wet n wild you guys, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot that I had the AC on while I was doing my complexion and I forgot to turn it back off when I came back. So some of it might be a little loud and you'll hear it while I'm talking, but just ignore it. Okay, so now let's finish up with the lips. I'm gonna go in with this Ofra lipstick and this is just a nude color called Verona, I believe. Verona. I don't know how I feel about that, but since I'm working with my travel kit, I only have so much to use. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go over that with some of my e.l.f. Clear lip gloss. So this is it, you guys. This is my St. Patty's Day look for you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to do another one before St. Patty's Day actually arrives, but just consider this your green and gold St. Patty's Day look from KK, okay? So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and watching me create this look with the James Charles palette as well as some of my ColourPop shadows. And hopefully you like how it turned out. It's a bit bold, it is, but it's green. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!